is just before this video gets started, if you guys like Septiplier or anything related to it, um, subscribe to this channel and like for more because um, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to do uh, I'm trying to go back to doing a uh, uh Five Nights at Freddy's, but there's a little bit of a problem. I can't react to it because I've you know I've been a uh, like Five Nights at Freddy's stuff like a. Uh, I can do a Fenders of Freddy's trying to laugh. If you guys want me to, I mean, I will if I if I want if I want to. That just sounded absolutely mean. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ugh. I mean, I'll see if I can find one that I can react to that I haven't looked at before. But I'm not gonna laugh. I'm to be honest. If I laugh, it's gonna be very surprising because I barely laugh at anything. Well, sorry. Let's get this started. Mark's POV, why me? A thing I asked myself for years. A thing I have asked myself every time. I was getting hit. A thing I asked every time I was getting teased. A thing I asked my, every time my parents pretended I didn't exist. A thing I asked when I fell in love with the person who hurts me the most. I want him to see a difference, different side of me. I want him to love me, to protect me. I love him so much. Sean McLaughlin, why me? A thing. I have to ask myself for years. A thing I ask every time when a girl hit on me. A thing I ask every time my parents would get drunk and take their anger out on me. A thing I ask every time I remembered I'm a jock who bullies everyone who doesn't deserve it. I want to stop, but I can't. I can't come out. I wouldn't survive. The worst part is I can't even defend the one I love the most. In fact, due peer pressure, I bruised his perfect skin. I have hurt his delicate feelings, and I... I want to hold him, I, and I love him. I want him to be mine. Mark Fishbach. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> the weird stuff that people do to Septiplier. And my dad's coming in. Great. Yeah, I'm at work right now, guys. <laughs> I'm reading Septiplier. Okay. I slammed my hand on, on my alarm clock to make it shut up. I groaned and slowly got out of bed. Even though I, I would rather just lay there... Forever, I limped into the bathroom. I was limping because a jock thought it would be funny to kick my ankle hard. I looked at myself in the mirror. I looked exhausted and miserable. I ran hand over my cuts and bruises all over my body. I didn't mean to, but I began to cry. I stayed in the bathroom crying and crying. Eventually, I pulled myself together and got ready for school. Oh, great. Be right back, guys. And we're back. I don't feel like an eternity, I'm sorry. Sean's POV. Beep, beep, beep. I threw my alarm clock on the ground and broke it. Whoops. I dragged myself out of bed and into the bathroom. I looked at myself in the mirror. Hey, good looking. How you doing? Oh my god, stop. I already got the shirt. Finally, my mom left, for god's sakes. I dragged myself into bed. How you doing, good looking? Oh my god, Sean, stop. I laughed and mentally, and mentally face palmed. I'm so freaking childish. I brushed my teeth and hair. I threw on my red shirt. Yeah, right, all right. <laughs> Blue jeans, sneakers, and my football jacket. I smiled and walked downstairs. My parents were passed out as usual. At least they can't hit me when they're like this. I shook my head and walked out. Oh my god, I'm... So annoyed because I haven't even done it. It hasn't been five minutes. And they're already being annoying. I walked downstairs and saw my mom cooking okay. and my dad reading his newspaper. I walked over to the door. But bye. I said to them, they both looked at, up at me and went back to what they were doing. Tears went down my face. I quickly left the house. Time skip. I was walking down the street, so crying. I wanted to stop, but I couldn't. Everybody, including my parents, hate me. I have no friends. I'm hurt daily. And the... Oh, actually, I got it. I got it. My parents won't leave me. I was still walking down the street, still crying. I wanted to stop, but I couldn't. Everybody, including my parents, hate me. I have no friends. I'm hurt daily. And the one that, that one I love hurts me the most. I keep walking and crying. At least the school is far away. I was walking down the street and cracking my knuckles, and then I saw him, the beauty of our school, the boy who stole my heart. 
The boy who, who I even I have harmed. Our fish buck. He was crying. Why am I sweet baby crying? Why would I even ask? I already know. It's because everyone in our school, including me, hurts him. I want to stop. I want to help him. I want to be with him, but I can't. Hey, McLaughlin, I heard Wilson. And I felt a strong arm go around my shoulder. It was one of my jock buddies. I made a noise. Soon we five were walking about football, talking about football and girls. And one of them pointed at Mark. Guys, look, it's Mark. He said, chuckling at the end of, what a little faggot, crying out about this all the time. I said another, everyone making, everyone laugh. I felt one of the, touch my shoulder. Go teach him a lesson, Sean. One of them said, I sighed and walked over to him. I pushed him into the grass. He looked at me with fear in his eyes. And the dogs were laughing and calling them names. What the freak are you crying for, faggot? I spat at him. I'm sorry. And I kicked his knee and spit on his face. I'm so sorry. He began sobbing his out into his sleeves. He began, he begged me to go away. So I did. I turned around and walked my, with my friends. I took one last glance at him and felt my heart break a little when I saw him look like that. Finally! Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. Roger. I pulled myself off the ground and began to limp to school. Why, Sean? Why do you do this to me? I can't see you. Can't. Why can't you see I love you? I wiped my final tears away and walked into school. As usual, ever pointed and laughed at me. I just just turned a blind eye. I get left alone for five freaking minutes. Put myself in. I hate the school. Eventually, I got to my class, and luckily, I was the first one there. There's some really noticed me back, me in back. The students began to pile into the classroom. I just stayed there in silence, tried to get a notice. Then the teacher began to speak. Good morning, children. Today we are starting a new exciting project. You all are gonna work with. Oh, I. No one's gonna leave me alone. I freaking hate this. You all are going to work with a partner and build a replica of a rare, exotic creature of, of your choosing. You also have to write down many interesting fa facts about them. She told us all. Oh, I saw a lot of students roll their eyes, but I actually thought this sounded pretty fun. And, all, and of course, the teacher was choosing partners, so as per usual, with every project, I get a partner. It in there, going to tease me and make me do all the work. For God's sake, they left me alone. Partners are using these partners. You can read after class. Class finally ended and everybody was reading the partner book. I waited until until everyone left and I read the paper. List of partners: Sarah and Bobby, Michael and Amy, uh, Jeffrey with Alex, Sheen with Sean. <laughs> I know I was gonna say Sheen. <laughs> Sean with Mark. Wait, what? Oh my God! I'm partners with Sean. Why must my crush also be up my main bully? I stormed out of class. I was waiting for Mark to finish reading the partner list. He was reading down until he blushed. I was angry and stormed out of the room. What the hell was that about? I got. I, re I read the paper until I saw my name. What? Mark is my partner. Oh my god, this is a blessing and a curse. I smiled like an idiot and walked out of class. I saw Mark at his locker. He was still blushing. Adorable. I walked over to him. Hey, Fishbach. I, s I said once. I was behind him, turned, saw me, and guarded himself. My God, have I hurt you, Bruce Bad? Mark, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I told him trustfully. He put his arms down slightly. Really? He said. I nodded. We're partners for the project. Where do you want to work on it? He thought for a moment. I guess my house would be fine. He said. I couldn't stop to think about how adorable he was smart. He was smaller than me. I nodded. Oh, good. To Let's go. Me and Mark were walking up. His house, he seemed to have just died. Mark, I said. He, he tensed up when I said something. Yeah? He asked, stuttering. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. I told him. Oh, yeah? I want you to believe you. After what happened, morning, and basically the entire school year, he said angrily. I looked into my eyes. Looking into my eyes. I. I. I couldn't finish the sentence. A whole year, I mumbled. Mark nodded sadly. What, enough out there? Finally being left alone. I nodded sadly. I fell to my knees and began crying. I'm done hurting him. I'm done hurting, hiding my, my true self. I'm done being a bully. I don't even like it. How could I have done this? 
go on for this for a whole year. I kept crying and crying. Mark seemed shocked at first, but then he tried to help me. Sean, why are you crying? He asked, grabbing my back. I don't want to hide anymore. I went for down. <sighs> okay, we're... He continued rubbing my back. Ugh. This is why I don't like this. What's going on? What's gotten into Sheen all of a sudden? Ugh, I don't want to go search. My dad keeps popping in. Well, what? I've never seen him like this. Well, what does he mean he's done hiding? All of a sudden, he hugged me tightly. My eyes went white. I'm sorry, Mark, he said, so sobbing. I'm sorry for everything I've done to you. I don't want to be a bully. I want to know you. Can you forgive me, please? He said and continued sobbing my shoulder. I hugged him back and rubbed his back. Is this a trick? He seemed pretty serious. It didn't matter. I'm so happy. We hugged for a while. This might be the start of something amazing. Well then. <laughs> This is why I love you, too, because people like to do this stuff. I was embarrassed, but I didn't care. I just kept hugging Mark and crying. I felt so horrible, but I'm done. I'm done bullying him. I'm done hurting him. I'm done hiding who I really... Who... I re Hiding who... Really him. Okay? I wiped away the last of my tears. Mark helped me up. I looked into his eyes. I'm so sorry, I said again. Mark smiled. It's all right. Let's go to my house, he said. I smiled and nodded. Mark's house was empty except for a little Yorkie dog. He had a brown curly fur and brown eyes. I giggled as the dog tried to jump on my legs. That's Tim, Mark said, laughing. I picked up the dog and it licked my face. I, I laughed. Hi, little kitty, I said to the dog. I saw Mark smiling at me. I blushed and smiled back. Come on, let's go up to my room, Mark said. I nodded and followed him. His room was... Pretty messy, but mine was mine's worse. He had a lot of video games. Nice room, I, I said, setting the dog on, on the bed. Thanks, Mark said, smiling. So, what exotic animal are you doing for the project? Mark asked me. I thought for a moment, how about we do a bush baby, I asked. Mark cocked his head to the left. What's a bush baby, he asked me. I asked, he asked me, I asked if I could, if I could use a computer. He nodded, and I went on and glue a bush baby this picture immediately popped up <laughs> mark said smiling widely oh they're so cute he said i like you i said i don't remember what was that mark said i said i know right mark smiled and nodded phew that was close we printed out a bunch of pictures of ba bush babies and wrote down facts about them okay now we all we gotta do is make a replica of one mark said i smiled and nodded how about we work on it tomorrow i asked him he nodded. Want to watch TV? He asked. I smiled and nodded. Me and Mark walked in. Why, Wesley? Every time! This got good AC. <laughs> I better walked in. Must have been... Me and Mark walked downstairs. I saw a man and woman who must have been Mark's parents. Mark mood changed. He looked sad. I hated seeing him like that. Hi, Mom and Dad. He started. They didn't even look at him. Mark began to tear up. I felt anger in me rise. He said hello. At least look at him. I yelled at them. They looked at me completely shocked. I blushed from embarrassment and looked over at Mark. He just sucked as them. I didn't know what to do, so I just ran away. I ran and ran away to the park. I just tried to catch my breath. Jack, I heard from behind me. I looked to see Mark also trying to catch his breath. I, I'm sorry. I looked down. All of a sudden, I felt two arms wrap around me. I went wide-eyed saw mark hugging me thank you mark yelled smiling widely i hugged back him back god just the title just gets me <laughs> i love it me and mark hugged for a while in the park i refused to let him go if i wanted to hold him forever and he wanted to hold on me so tight i guess i get was guessing he felt the same way. We just stayed in silence and remained in each other's arms. He, this felt so. This this feels amazing. I have one love in my arms with a lousy excuse for parents. Parents, how could you ignore so, this some someone this adorable? I felt Mark shaking. Are you okay? I asked, pulling away from the hug. He looked up at me. Can we go s somewhere else? We're gonna have to end this here, guys. Bye.